Hello everyone, this is Tutorial Geeks and this is a shading tutorial in Clip Studio Paint. We're going to learn how to paint and shade clouds. There are more, four main steps. One, we add basic colors, then we blend the colors, then we add the details, lastly we apply gradient maps. At the beginning we should start with adding a sky gradient um, to our canvas. And then on a new layer, I start by using the watery brush and I select a dark blue shade. As you can see, I play with the saturation and values. Now I start blocking my cloud. I try to imagine where the shadows of the cloud um, of my cloud is. And you don't have to be really accurate in this uh, step. Then with a darker shade of blue, I start blocking and trying to imagine where my light hits the cloud, in this case in my upper left corner, and I try to imagine where the darker areas of the cloud is going to be. So I start going over that with a watery brush. Then with a light gray shade, I start shading um, the areas where the light hits the cloud and that would be on the upper left corners usually and that is on a new layer you can choose to do it on a new layer or you can keep using the same layer it's up to you then on another new layer you start with the white color and start drawing the um, borders of the cloud you try to imagine how the cloud will look like from the outside and start drawing and blocking that. In this case you have to be a little bit more accurate than the last steps. You also need to draw the inner parts of the cloud with the watery brush. Of course, all of these steps are detailed in the description below. There is a link to a tips website in Clip Studio Paint website where I explain every detail of this process. So once you go over all of the inner details of the cloud in general and you're satisfied you combine all the layers then you switch to the cloud blending brush this is a brush that i created it's a custom brush uh, you will also find the link in the description below to download it um, it's a simple blending brush i use the alt key to pick up colors from the uh, canvas and start blending the way you do blending is basically you don't do continuous blending strokes but you just do a simple stroke, a circular one and then you lift the pen from the tablet. Um, this step is probably the most important step in all of the steps. So you have to take your time with this step. Of course you can change the, the settings of the cloud brush as you see fit. Here I am trying to do some fixes and you're going to see me do a lot of fixes in um, this video because it's really a matter of experimenting and playing around. Next you can duplicate the layer and change it to overlay. Here I realized maybe I should make a new layer which is a multiply layer and using the soft brush I go over areas where the dark or sh shadows should be in the cloud and so I just deleted the overlay layer and then I re re redid the 
last step of duplicating and making an overlay a layer. Here I created a layer below everything, I make it a glow dodge and then with the soft uh, shadow, uh, with the soft airbrush I created a glow behind the cloud. Again here I'm doing more and adding more details and fixes to my cloud. It's very helpful if you take a look at uh, references for clouds, uh, they will give you a better idea of how cloud structures and how the colors blend. It's also, it's also very important that you know um, and understand a little bit of color theory. As I said below, all of this is explained in details in an article, uh, you'll find it in the description below. So here is an important step, I create two new layers, one is a screen and another is a normal layer and then I make a purling noise, it's from filter, render, then purling noise, then I clip that layer to the screen layer and I go with the uh, soft airbrush again over areas where I want uh, to show more texture to the cloud. and. This is a very nice step into adding um, a little bit of a more um, 3D look to your cloud. Of course you can play with the uh, opacity of that layer as you can see fit. It's a, it's a nice touch I think. Here I'm just going over and making more adjustments, you can use any brush really you want, blending, uh, airbrush. Again, as I said before, it's a process of trying, experimenting, and references of clouds will heavily help you. Now you group all the layers into one folder and you can create a correction layer on top. You just right click and click on new correction layer. Here I used a color balance correction layer and it's a simple way of adjusting the colors giving you more control. Again you can do more adjustments and fixing of details. Here I try to improve the uh, color of the background. Again I use the blending brush and I use the soft airbrush. Another nice detail that you can add is the mini clouds. They are totally optional. I experimented with a couple of uh, brushes in this case and I ended up using the lighter pencil and the darker pencil to create these mini clouds. They are a very simple clouds, you don't have to really be too, too detailed. They are more for aesthetics and adding a little bit more depth to your drawing. Again, it's a very um, powerful um, tool to use uh, which is the hue saturation uh, adjustment. You just click Control and U or Command U if you're in a Mac and you can immediately change and play with the colors, the hue, saturation and luminosity of different uh, layers. Here I'm also cropping certain parts of the cloud where I don't see that they are really um, important. So once you're done, there is the last step of adding a gradient map. If you want to 
make a new setting of uh, the cloud so here is an example I added a gradient map cor correction layer and you can change it to whatever you want and basically you change the time of the day for the cloud so you don't have to really repaint everything as I said you just right click go to new correction layer and you choose gradient map and you choose whatever gradient map you have there then you clip it to the folder of the entire cloud uh, of the entire group of the cloud here are some examples and experiments that i did with the uh, gradient map of course as you can see here i duplicated the cloud and mirrored it um, here are some other examples and this is basically how you create or paint and shade clouds in clip studio paints thank you for watching and see you in the next time